me no which problem. is not a problem for me so okay. but today I, I i don't know what happened so <laughs> it, 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 it happens absolutely no problem <laughs> no no i am concerned uh, all the students are there there are well, total we i am finding 40 participants i think it will be 39 38 something like that 38 okay. or 36 we can uh, wait for two three uh, minutes more and start yes, sir, 11, we can wait for two three minutes 11, so you, you inform inform all the students immediately Onkita, hello Onkita. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, please inform them as you have okay. done earlier. Inform them, uh, and for the third semester, uh, I have also told them. So let them come uh, just within minutes. Maybe, maybe <laughs> some uh, network issues. Like me, what happened to me? I I don't know. From ten forty-five, I am trying. So it hanged and finally I had to join through mobile. I'm still now trying, trying for this laptop to work. Comfortable. So you are not for Spare us for two, three minutes. <laughs> Absolutely, no problem. <laughs> no, no. So, so busy person, so uh, I can't hold you up like this. But still, uh, when I, uh, these, these uh, web platforms are relatively tricky sometimes. Oh, sir, Ankita has sent out the message. Yes, yes. Okay, let us see. I'm almost at the point of opening my laptop. Let me see also like, uh, whether I can switch over and look better. How many joined, Han, Han Babu? Total, I'm finding 49. Achha, so the, the things are increasing. Okay. Okay, let, let, them, let them. They are joining one by one. Uh -huh. it, it seems some some network problem is there somewhere. It's very slow. Last I go stored the place. Sir, I think we should start because uh, Professor Bandhapadda has only 45 minutes and it's already 11.07. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. So, so would you please introduce Professor Bandhapadda? Yeah, yeah. Give me, give me one minute. One minute. One minute more. <clears throat> so, it's opening in the laptop. Yeah. Opening in the la laptop. So, I'll switch over. One second. Second, taking time. Okay. Uh, morning. Good morning, Dr. Khan. Good morning, Arnav. Good morning, sir. Uh, 
good morning good morning good morning students if there be any uh, other faculties good morning to all of you so um, let us have today uh, mr arnab bandopadhyay with us um, he has been an illustrious former student of our uh, institution uh, arnab has been our student from 94 to he passed this institution in uh, ceramic technology uh in 1998 now uh, he had a very you know illustrious career like uh, he was in the profession initially but then he uh, switched over and he found his own company and now is a big shot in the uh, you know uh, it field you can say so i'll i'll brief you a little bit about arnab uh, so uh, you just just listen to him Uh, uh his career what he did and uh, and listen from him also so he runs doc hippo this is a software tool used to create stunning documents using doc hippo one can create beautiful flyers posters presentations ebook covers resume web banners social graphics and many other document types while building doc hippo one of the challenges he faced was to find great quality design assets like illustrations and stickers hence he built draw hippo a repository of high quality editable premium vector graphics that one can use on their app website presentation or social post anything he set up his first company golden lion back in 2010 golden lion today is a zoho consulting partner with 700 plus customers across 70 plus countries mind it 700 plus customers across 70 plus countries over the last 20 years he has been working with customers across a variety of industries to help them design their sales marketing and support functions and how they can leverage software to run these processes efficiently his specialties are finding profitable niche building high performance teams and creating industry solutions and design now this is with this very brief introduction of arnab uh, i would ask arnab to uh, share his thoughts and his talk with all of you students but uh, you, you just try to visualize what kind of a person he is he was uh, in profession in ceramic technology and then he switched over and now that he has set up uh, his uh, you know uh, uh, business with 70 plus countries in the world world with 700 plus customers can you imagine what kind of a uh, what kind of a thing he has built up a uh, 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 really a kingdom like of a thing and uh, you know he will he, he, give a mesmerizing talk i'll tell you uh, i have listened to him and uh, you know no words uh, are for praise for arnab you just listen to him carefully so arnab please mic to you so uh, i uh, kept on waiting uh, for 10 minutes you are a very busy person i know sorry for that but uh, okay over to arnab thank you thank you so much sir for all your love and blessings all the time uh, am i audible clearly yes sir you are audible Okay, perfect. First of all, I wanted to thank all the professors here for inviting me here, and I want to congratulate all the students for uh, getting into this uh, prestigious institute. Uh, and uh, I see that uh, over the period of last few days, you had talks on a variety of topics. Uh, so I was uh, I was having a discussion with Ritu Parna sir. Uh, day before yesterday uh, in terms of the different topics that you have covered so i thought that i would possibly choose a topic uh, which is slightly generic in nature because uh, the audience would be a mix of students from uh, uh, different disciplines from uh, ceramics to computer science to information technology so i wanted to choose a topic which is very dear to me which is in terms of how do you build something from your own city so uh, the topic is uh, make in kolkata but if it happens to be that if you are from durgapur or if you are from let's say medinipur if you are from jhargram or if you are from any other state so replace the topic so it could be make in durgapur make in uh, bardhwan make in uh, kind of gujarat 
So you could you could replace the topic anywhere. So the foundation is primarily how do you build something from your own city, from your own town. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm qualified enough to talk here, but uh, Ritu Parnasar has been so dear to me, and I love and respect him so much that uh, I never dared to kind of refuse him any time. Uh, so last time I visited the college. Uh, last to last year. It was such a lovely interaction with all the students and the professors here. So it's a pleasure to come back here and uh, talk about it. Uh, I want to primarily kind of uh, touch upon on uh, my journey here. And uh, if this anyway, if it can help contribute to your life in any way, I'll be very, very grateful about it. Uh, so let's get started. But before that, a couple of housekeeping rules. At any point of time, if there's a power cut, I would like to come back as soon as possible. And in any case, if you if you hear a noise at the background, that's primarily possibly my eight-year-old kid would, would be playing football. Uh, so that could be, so you need to kind of uh, discount all these things. So let's get started. So uh, I come from a middle-class family and uh, my father, was into the land and registration department. Uh, we were two brothers and I had my elder sister. And because of the nature of the job, my father used to get transferred from one district to another district almost uh, almost every year. So that's like uh, you pack everything, every kind of almost every year, you move from uh, one school to another school, you make new friends. So. That was really fun. That's what the childhood was all about. So it was kind of a, we had very limited access to uh, money, but we had unlimited fun. So, uh, and then 1994, uh, I got into uh, that point of time, it was College of Ceramic Technology. So I got into the college. I had very little idea about ceramics that point of time. Uh, and I was actually passionate about uh, mathematics as a subject. I wanted to pursue my uh, higher studies in mathematics. My uh, kind of favorite topics were number theory and also I loved uh, uh, solid geometry. So uh, while I took admission in uh, ceramics, uh, I also kind of uh, wanted to pursue my passion for mathematics. So I used to take a one-on-one -on -one private tuition from, uh, from a kind of a pretty renowned mathematician that part of time he used to stay in uh, North Calcutta area. So it was more like a kind of practice session with him. Uh, every Sunday I used to go there. Uh, we had almost two, three hours. We used to spend together with the professor. Uh, we used to have breakfast there. So uh, it was fun sessions. And I was so engrossed with uh, mathematics that point of time that I started neglecting my studies uh, for ceramics. OK, and uh, so you get the result accordingly, right? So based on the kind of effort that you put in into anything, you get the result. So there was a kind of pre-final examination in the first year uh, of ceramics. And, uh, I failed in chemical engineering. That point of time, our professor was Professor Ranjar Roy, uh, amazing professor. Uh, but I failed uh, in chemical engineering. I, I scored 26. Uh, and then I came back home and I was pondering about it, that what went wrong. And I was kind of uh, uh, unknowingly, I, I picked up a book that point of time, uh, that book I bought from uh, the, the, the kind of bookstores in College Street uh, during my those days. Uh, the book was called uh, B2B and B2B stands for Back to Basics. And what it says, it's, it, it, it had a very important line there. It said that, uh, at any point of time in your life, you can take a U-turn. So it doesn't matter that if you have failed in anything, you can always take a U-turn from there. So I started recovering myself. I started uh, understanding chemical engineering well. So I started getting into the depth of it, uh, the different unit operations that it talks about. So I wanted to kind of uh, getting into the details of it and started loving the subject. And uh, the different other disciplines that they had like mechanical engineering, the chemical engineering, uh, uh, engineering mathematics. So I started falling in love with each one of the subjects because essentially engineering is all about how do you really hone your analytical skill? So whether you're pursuing your computer science or ceramics or information technology, it doesn't matter. Uh, eventually all of them help you shape 
you to be a better person in terms of uh, honing your analytical skill. So uh, 94 to 98, I think those were one of those uh, memorable years in my life. And uh, so finally, kind of, we were into the kind of uh, the final year, the fourth year. Uh, and then uh, I was never been super impressive into anything that I've done. So when it came to the campus selection, uh, kind of there are multiple companies kept coming and I was failing miserably in uh, each one of them in all the campus interviews. Uh, and uh, kind of, I, I could vividly remember that uh, there were occasions where uh, the interview used to be conducted in, into the conference room and I used to kind of stand outside. I, I was looking through the glass door there that uh, inside uh, Professor uh, Rituparna Shen, uh, and that time uh, we had uh, Professor uh, Dilip Mukherjee, and they were trying to convince the, the recruiters, the, the employers there, that, uh, that I was a good student. Why did you kind of try out with all of that point of time? And I was feeling so embarrassed that uh, my professors, my dear professors, had so much of trust on me that I had trust on myself, okay? So that gave me a lot of confidence. And uh, finally, uh, kind of, uh, there's a company called uh, Bisaja India Private Limited. Uh, it, was a, it, it was a subsidiary of an Italian company called Bisaja Mosaico. They make glass mosaic tiles. So, uh, so I joined there. Uh, and my first posting was uh, in a place called Kadi in Gujarat, which is kind of two hours journey from Ahmedabad. So we went there, five of us from the batch, and uh, it was fun. It was a it was a production unit. Uh, uh, three of us we were there in the production department, and uh, two of the two of my other uh, classmates were in some other departments. And my first manager was uh, was my senior uh, Francis Roy. Uh, and uh, he was an, uh, one of the brilliant managers I've ever seen, uh, extremely knowledgeable uh, in the subject and very, very disciplined in his work. So I was having fun time uh, and uh, we kind of, I had a very good relationship with Francis. Uh, he used to teach me so many different things. Uh, and uh, our managing director at that point of time was, uh, was an Italian gentleman called uh, Minigini, like any other Italian name. It is it, a very funny name and a very funny gentleman. Uh, so things were shaping up well. I was in the production shop floor running uh, kind of uh, different glass making machines. Uh, and the, the entire production process was uh, kind of uh, so much of fun. Like you have a molten glass in the furnace, it comes out, it, it kind of gets into the machine, it gets converted into glass mosaic tiles. And then from there, it goes to the, goes to the, the quality inspection process. From there, it goes to the dispatch. So the process was a kind of a, was kind of extremely fun to watch and to experience there. And then one of those days, uh, kind of, I was being called into the uh, managing director's chamber. And uh, he said that, you know what, that, uh, uh, kind of Francis, the kind of, a, I used to call him Francis, the uh, kind of, he's getting married. And uh, so uh, he would be taking uh, two weeks of leave. So we have decided that uh, Francis was the production manager at that point of time. Uh, so uh, uh, Mr. Minigini, who was the managing director, he said that since uh, Roy won't be there in the plant for kind of two weeks, we have decided that uh, you would be the new production in charge for the next two weeks. When uh, Roy would come back, he would again take the charge back from you. I said, great, this is my first experience. I was 22 at that point of time uh, that uh, I would be able to run the production shop floor. It's like kind of a dream coming true. And we had all of kind of a factory workers there. Uh, they were kind of uh, in terms of the age, they will be between 30 to 60. So I thought that I had a pretty diverse workforce to work with. And this is a unique opportunity to kind of build rapport with each one of them. So. Uh, so my first day uh, kind of uh, as a production in charge. Uh, so kind of the first few days, like first three, four days were more of like rapo building with all the factory workers. And it was not very easy to really do that part of it, but it was a lot of fun in terms of how do you go and kind of build rapo with each one of them. Each had their own struggle, their own stories. So listen to them so that you can all motivate them to do a better job in the production shop floor. So things were going on well. And then uh, on the fifth day, 
uh, kind of uh, we had that point of time Bisaja has a pretty weird policy we had a seven days a week so there was no holiday no off nothing uh, so uh, it was on the fifth day so I went back almost after uh, 16 hours of shift I went back uh, uh, to kind of have some food at night and then I kind of uh, uh, went to sleep and suddenly the landline rang that point of time that uh, there's a phone from from the factory and uh, kind of uh, I was informed that uh, one of the furnaces had a problem, that the glass was not coming through the hole. Uh, so I had to rush there because if the molten glass kind of remains within the furnace, uh, after the point of time, if it doesn't get uh, an exit route, uh, the, the furnace might explode. So I went there in the furnace, it was about uh, Kind of two o'clock at night uh so we had uh, quite a few experienced one in the kind of in the factory who had spent uh, uh, a kind of a uh, six seven ten years in the factory so we formed the core committee there about a 10 member team and uh we have been discussing that okay how do we kind of uh, solve this problem and uh it, it was it was night time so i couldn't call the kind of the, the managing director or the other seniors. So we have been discussing and almost each one of them were actually looking up to me, uh, possibly as a production in charge, possibly I will gu guide them. And I was so inexperienced that I had no idea like how to kind of guide them. So uh, with my limited knowledge, kind of uh, uh, we decided that, okay, we'll break open that hole so the molten glass can come through. So uh, kind of, with the team, with almost two and a half hours of effort, finally we could break open the hole and the molten glass came out from the furnace. So we are all elated. Uh, and kind of, I thought that this is my first possibly heroic job that I've ever done. So uh, I went back and then uh, morning, uh, eight o'clock, I was being called again in the managing director's chamber. And this time uh, again, it was Mr. Minigini. And he was, uh, he was, uh, furious uh he said that Arnold, kind of you and your brilliant team had done a great job and it would now cost us a fortune to repair that furnace because you have completely messed up the furnace okay so that was a kind of a huge lesson for me uh so like when you are into a crisis situation uh and you kind of take a hasty decision oftentimes without uh, analyzing the all the kind of impact it might have. Uh, it might be a costly decision. Anyway, uh, Minigini was a kind of a really generous person. And we had uh, kind of for the next few days, uh, kind of a, I got a lot of kind of a wisdom from him in terms of how to run the production shop floor more efficiently, uh, how to handle uh, the production process so that it meets the quality standard because all the products was to be exported to diff kind of different countries and most of the European countries they were very very particular about the quality of the product. So uh, my first job at Bisaja was a lot of fun, a lot of experimentation, and uh, great kind of learnings from the company. But then I also wanted to have an understanding about the different other functions of a company like how a sales function work, how does the marketing function work, so on and so forth. So I went ahead and pursued my master's uh, in business administration. So I took an admission in IIT Bombay uh, for pursuing my master's in administration. And uh, again, that two years was kind of a, one of the most uh, kind of memorable years in my life because uh, in those two years, what essentially happened that uh, the routine was almost like this, that they used to give you kind of a 200 page document every single day from Monday to Friday. And you used, you used to kind of, you have to kind of present that as a use case next morning at eight o'clock. So it was kind of a extensive hard work for those two years. Uh, it really helped me develop the capability to speed read things. So you kind of look at a kind of a huge set of documents and how do you speed read and kind of make up a decision. So that two years was kind of great learning for me. And uh, anybody kind of a, who will be pursuing your master's, uh, if you get into uh, kind of IIT, IIT Bombay, you see that the, the campus was a, kind of a lovely campus. The professors are uh, kind of a lovely set of professors, just like uh, kind of College of Ceramic Technology. All the professors are so amazing here. Uh, 
So after my master's, I got into the Indian subsidiary of an European software company. And the reason uh, why a software company hired me because they were looking for somebody who has spent time in manufacturing, who has got good understanding about manufacturing. I knew nothing about software. Okay, so uh, I went to that company that used to make business solutions, that uh, European uh, software company. And uh, they were actually building a kind of software solution for manufacturing companies. So I went ahead there and I was kind of uh, so happy to see that the, a software company runs exactly like a manufacturing company. There's essentially no difference at all. Like a kind of manufacturing company, in software company also, there are set of unit operations, there are departments. And the way it works that you have a specifications team who would write specifications that uh, what the software is supposed to do. And from there, it goes to the designing team, the user interface and the user experience designers will primarily design that part of it, the interfaces. From there, it goes to the development team who would develop the software, just like a production department in a manufacturing team. From there, it goes to quality testing, just like a quality testing in a manufacturing plant. From there, it goes to the release, just like a dispatch department in a manufacturing. So essentially, all business works exactly the same way. And just like I mentioned that any point of time, you can take a U-turn in your life just because you're pursuing ceramics uh, it doesn't mean that in future you can't get into software and the vice versa. Uh, those who are pursuing computer science, it doesn't mean in future you may not get into the core uh, industries like manufacturing, so on and so forth, like all business essentially uh, all the same. So I spent some time with that uh, European software company. Then I uh, moved ahead and I, I joined Microsoft. And uh, my role at Microsoft was uh, very interesting. Uh, I was given the the role of, uh, they had a pretty fancy designation called solution specialist. And my role was to kind of a go and uh, interview uh, thousands of uh, uh, CEOs across India who are running small to mid-sized to large organizations, understand their current challenges, understand their aspirations, and help build solution using Microsoft technology. And that role was, uh, a really interesting role because that gave me the exposure in terms of interacting with so many uh, uh, personalities of repute uh, who have been subject matter experts in their own business and they had been sharing their challenges their aspirations how they have been running the business for decades together successfully what had been the recipes for their success so those were very very valuable lessons for me while I'd been doing it, so I'd been there with Microsoft for almost five plus years. And while I'd been doing it, uh, Microsoft, the, the way Microsoft works, that Microsoft directly didn't have a direct sales team. So any Microsoft product that you buy, you would always buy from a partner because Microsoft never sells anything directly. So in all my calls uh, with customers, I used to have partner sales team uh, accompanying me was to go from one customer to another customer. And I had observed that the partner sales team who is to accompany me, they lacked the consultative selling skill. Because when you're talking to the CEO of a company or the CFO of a company or the chief marketing officer of a company, uh, anybody at a CXO level, they have a specific vocabulary. And if you can't master that vocabulary, it would be very difficult to for you to pursue that conversation on a sustained basis. So I thought that there's a, there's a gap in the market where possibly I could kind of train these partner sales folks in terms of how can they possibly upgrade their consultative selling skill. So I thought that I'll possibly quit Microsoft and set up a company whereby I can in turn help the Microsoft partner ecosystem for them to be better equipped in terms of their skill set. Uh, but I had no experience in business and kind of uh, no one at least that point of time from my family had ever been into business. My father wasn't a government service and for generations together, we had kind of always been to service uh, and kind of a lot of people told me that you would need capital kind of to set up a business. And I had almost uh, kind of a very limited savings that point of time uh, for whatever reason, despite working for Microsoft for a number of years, I could not really had much savings. So, uh, so I was into dilemma and then we thought, okay, kind of, uh, it doesn't matter. It's one life. Let's take the risk and move ahead. Uh, I, I was married that point of time. 
So I had my wonderful wife. In fact, the only reason uh, wife married me that point of time because I used to work for Microsoft. And he, she had no idea that one day I would quit Microsoft and start my own business. And she, in fact, told me that, that had I knew that I would possibly have never married you. Uh, so anyway, so we, we set up our, our company and that was on the 3rd of July, 2010. That was the first day of our business. And the name of our company that I had given is called Golden Lion. If you look at Golden Lion, if you search by Golden Lion, Golden Lion is not actually a lion. It's actually a species of monkey, uh, which is becoming extinct. So what we thought that world-class sales professionals, they are becoming extinct. So if we as a company, if we can uh, grow them in community, that could be a great service to the community. So we kept the name of the company called Golden Lion. And uh, initially it was a one and a half person company. So I was the, the face of the company and my wife was taking care of the finances because uh, she had uh, she had an impression that uh, I would possibly spend all the money that the company was earning. So she, kind of, she was holding back on the financial side of things. And things are shaping up well because the uh, <laughs> kind of... <laughs> so all the partner companies, the Microsoft partners, kind of they uh, naturally become my customers because uh, they love me so much. They had uh, kind of, they had more confidence on me than I had on myself, just like my amazing professors during my college days. So on the very first day of the of, of the business uh kind of uh we got our first check from one of our customers and uh that became our first capital in the business so our customers had always been our investors we had always remained self-funded uh we have never borrowed money from anybody not from any bank nor from uh, any other financial institution because my father always told me that don't borrow money from someone whatever little money you have run it with that uh, that's like our middle class mentality all the time. And it's still kind of a go with that flow with that advice. So things were shaping up well between July 2010 to December 2010. We picked up uh, a lot of customers uh, while our kind of our job was primarily uh, to really help them uh, systematize their sales process, uh, help them hone their solution selling capabilities, so on and so forth. So essentially the way it, it used to work that I used to go to different cities, sometime in Bangalore, sometime in Chennai, sometime in Pune, in uh, Bombay. We used to have two-day workshop and during the workshop, I would look at their sales process. I would talk to their sales team. I would fine tune their sales uh, approach, their positioning, how they can possibly position their product or the services. That's essentially the business model. Uh, and uh, kind of we picked up about uh, 10, 12 customers. We started getting uh, decent money on a monthly basis, one and a half person's company. Uh, so we didn't kind of uh, want a lot of money. So uh, kind of a something which is good enough to kind of uh, uh, run the show. And uh, suddenly I had the liberty uh, in terms of, uh, so unlike uh, in service where you need to report on nine o'clock or 10 o'clock every day, I suddenly got the freedom to wake up at 10 o'clock in the morning and then uh, maybe uh, work up to 4 a.m. in the morning. So it's all up to you. So I started enjoying the freedom and I thought that uh, kind of, uh, I've got a great business. It's been shipping up so well. Uh, and then suddenly something happened and that was on uh, 10th of December, 2010. So I was into Bangalore. I was, uh, I had a workshop there for one of my customers. And the following day, uh, I had a workshop for one of my other customers in Bombay. So that customer uh, booked all my flight ticket. So I was on my way uh, from the Bangalore city to the airport. And uh, if you go to Bangalore, you'll see that the Bangalore airport is uh, quite far away from the main city. Uh, so I booked a Meru cab <laughs> that part of time and uh, kind of, uh, the Meru cab was going around uh, 140 kilometer per hour speed. And I was in the kind of, uh, on the cab, I was working on uh, the slide deck for the next day uh, because I was not completely prepared. So I thought that I will possibly use the transit time to prepare myself well. Uh, and also I was talking to my wife on the phone because from Bombay, I was supposed to fly to Chennai for another workshop. So I was trying to book a flight ticket also there. And suddenly, uh, before I realized anything, suddenly I heard a kind of a huge sound and uh, kind of, and then I realized that my car collided with a truck and the driver was dead in no time. 
So there was a pool of blood on the front seat. I was on the back seat. Car was completely damaged. And uh, I was there like that for about 20 minutes. For some reason, I could not really stand up. And, uh, and then I heard kind of the localites or all came together after 20, 25 minutes uh, because that was kind of a, a highway, a national highway. And uh, there is not much of uh, kind of, not many people, they live uh, kind of in the nearby areas. So some of the localites came, uh, they broke open the window, they pulled me out of the window and all my laptops, everything were broken, my mobile phone broken. Uh, so they kind of pulled uh, all this kind of things like the broken laptop, the mobile, uh, kind of they got some random bag, uh, they called an auto and uh, they put me into that. And the auto took me to uh, Manipal hospital. So I was in the hospital uh, and then uh, kind of I had my uh, legs, both the legs broken, my hand was broken, my all the ribs got broken. Uh, so I was in the hospital for about three months and uh, it was like a point of realization because all the savings that I had, I had made and between July to 10, whatever profits I made in the business, forget about profit. I kind of lost all the money because three months in the hospital and uh, kind of uh, with limited financial capability from the, from the family. So I ruined almost all my savings. And while I was on the hospital bed, I started realizing that the business that I'm in is an extremely risky business. At one point of time, what I thought is a kind of that my life is all set. So I was possibly living in a fool's paradise. Uh, I was in a risk. I was actually running a very risky business because the, my business is dependent completely on me. And that was a huge mistake. I need to, because business is a separate entity than you. So I need to completely insulate my business from any risk that might possibly impact me as an individual. The business should be risk-free. So I started thinking in the hospital bed that how do we possibly build a business which would be relatively risk-free, whereby even if I'm down, my business can go along, the other people can take along this business. So I wanted to do something in the areas of sales itself because kind of sales as a function, I started falling in love with sales because it's a very, very noble profession to pursue. When I say, when I say sales, sales to me is a very, very positive way to really position your product or service in the minds of the prospective buyers and the people get convinced and they buy your product or service and you have that moment of fulfillment. You feel that, okay, the way you dreamt of something, it's coming true. So I wanted to do something in the sales space alone. So we thought that instead of sales consultation, we would possibly get into sales tools business because that point of time, a lot of my customers, they were saying, oh, no, but you know what, now that we have a better a managed sales process, how can we implement sales tools so that we can capture all the data related to sales into one single tool and we can run our show uh, kind of pretty efficiently because so that we will have an improved sales process. And along with that, if we have a great sales tool, so that's like a dream coming true. So, uh, so we thought that, okay, well, I'll possibly uh, start a sales tools business under the name of Golden Land itself. So I started this kind of a discussing with uh, a multiple software provider. So uh, Microsoft was a natural choice being my previous employer, then a couple of other companies. And then there's a company at that point of time called Zoho. Uh, if you look at, if you read the newspaper or look at different social media platforms, Zoho has become a very popular nowadays. Uh, uh, Mr. Sridhar Vembu is their managing director, the CEO of the company, and pretty humble beginning. It's again an India-based company, but uh, set up a $500 million company today with uh, almost 10,000 plus workforce. So we signed up as a partner with them in the year 2011. And our role was to simplify things, to take the Zoho product from Zoho, and then build a solution on top of that and supply it to our customers. Uh, so like Zoho had a suite of business solutions. They had solutions for sales, for marketing, for customer support. So we had kind of, a, we had tried to implement these solutions for different customers. And we started onboarding new team members. And uh, kind of a, 
most of the people that we have onboarded kind of a, we had a pretty uh, lovely internal environment uh, and most of the people that we have today they are being spent with the company for about five years six years seven years eight years uh, because we started to run this business more like a family where each of the team members would be given the creative freedom uh, as if it's their own company so it's like a kind of a they are the entrepreneur within a, a business entity so uh, so we started golden land uh, as a sales consulting company moved to a sales tools company uh, but it was essentially a services company so but after running this show for about four or five years uh, we wanted to slightly pivot ourselves in the sense that we had been uh, kind of uh, implementing for a number of different uh, industries like for travel agency a uh, real estate agency real estate developers uh, training providers so we thought that instead of taking the horizontal zoho suite of applications why can't we build industry specific solution for different industries so that when we go to these industries let's say we go to a travel agency we can say that hey we have a custom tailored solution already made for you on the platform so that every time they don't need to reinvent the wheel they know that okay there's a software which is available with the, exactly the way their processes run so from 2014 onwards we started building industry solutions on zoho platform and that's how kind of we started attracting a lot of customers from outside india so we started getting calls from countries like us canada uk uh, then south africa then uae and kind of and believe you me it's easier to earn a dollar than a rupee okay because selling outside india was easier if you follow a structured process convincing people outside india is an easier process than convincing people in india okay so uh, that was a moment of realization for us we started growing the business and then uh, kind of around uh, the winter time 2015 i was reading another book uh, the book was called built to sell uh, and the, what the book essentially said that uh, even if you have no intention to sell a business, if you can build a business which is sellable in nature, that means uh, you have set up all the processes rightly, you have set up all the tools correctly, and if the business can run without you being in the business, that's like kind of the ultimate that you can achieve in the business. So uh, so that was kind of a, a huge moment of realization for me, where I started kind of putting more time in terms of putting efficient processes internally, uh, more structured tools internally, so that the business can run uh, even without me. And then by 2017 end, uh, I realized that my business can essentially function kind of without me there in the business. I had an efficient team here, uh, kind of a, they don't need me for the day-to-day -day business. Uh, and I had enough free time to start something new. So, uh, and then kind of, a, we thought that, okay, we, we were in the services business, then moved to productized service. And I was looking at my existing business at Golden Land. I was seeing that all my people in the sales team, the park, the marketing team, they had been using tons of different tools for building different kinds of documents. Like sometimes they have been using Microsoft PowerPoint, sometimes they have been using Google Slides, sometimes they have been using Photoshop for designing a complicated design. So I had been thinking that what if uh, we could possibly build a tool which could be a universal document designing tool. Any document type that you can think of, you can build there. So with that goal in mind, 2017, December, I set up my second company and we launched a product called Doc Hippo. Uh, Doc Hippo, as the name suggests, Doc stands for a document. Hippo stands for high potential. So uh, I had no prior knowledge in terms of building, how to build a software. I had always been into software, software sales. I had always been into services business. So uh, starting something on the software making business was again, a kind of a building something grounds up. And everything that we tried to do that in that business was from using the first principle because I had got no prior understanding about how a software uh, manufacturer work. Uh, and then we released our first version of uh, Doc Hippo uh, in the year uh, 
2019 uh, on 14th of August, one day prior to Independence Day, we launched the product. Uh, so this year we completed two years of uh, final release of Doc Hippo. So whoever who has not possibly tried out uh, Doc Hippo, possibly I would request, I'll share my screen here. Uh, just confirm me if you can see my screen here. Okay, so hopefully yes. my screen. Okay, screen perfect. Is visible. Screen is right. visible. Yes. So th this is the this is the first product we have ever built, uh, which is called Doc Hippo. So I would highly encourage that being uh, my kind of all my juniors here in the college try out this product. And we have been putting a lot of effort in terms of building this product. And you can create any type of document here. Like, for example, for your college fest, if you need a poster, you can build a poster here. Uh, for the new year, if you need to make a kind of beautiful calendar with your family photographs here, we have a calendar maker for that. For any of the invitation, like a workshop like this, if you need to invite speakers, we have an invitation maker for that. Uh, if you have your college magazine, we have a magazine maker for that. For your uh, job application, if you need to create beautiful resume, we have a resume maker for that. For social post, I'm sure all of you are hyperactive in social media. For different social media posts, we have social media post maker. So we wanted to create a universal document building tool so that you can effortlessly build any type of document that you could think of. Now, while we had been kind of a building the Docipo, one of the things that I realized that if you want to create a beautiful looking document, you need beautiful looking illustrations, stickers, so on and so forth, right? Because otherwise, how will your document uh, look great? So uh, we had been thinking that what if we could build all these assets ourselves where uh, we can create beautiful looking illustrations, stickers, etc. So we went ahead and uh, built another brand called Draw Hippo, where you can come and kind of, uh, you can, look at beautiful illustrations. You can buy beautiful illustrations for your own business here. Uh, like for example, on a different topics like Valentine's Day, different animal related illustrations here, uh, different business related illustrations. So all the different kind of use cases that you can think of, you can come here and you can buy those illustrations from here. Like for example, let's say I go to cat illustrations. Uh, and you'd be able to see that all the different types of illustrations here, these are all, uh, we call it solo illustration. That means small, cute looking square type of illustration, like different poses of cat here. And also we have got scene illustration. Scene is like a story, which you can use, let's say as a website banner, uh, or maybe possibly you are building a web app, you want to use that part of it. And all these illustrations, all these things, besides using on a digital uh, product, you can also possibly print them out. Uh, possibly on your t-shirt or possibly if you're uh, kind of a, want to gift something to somebody, you can also print them out on your gift items. So that's the kind of third brand we kind of, uh, we set up. So the first company we set up is called Golden Land, uh, which is kind of, we just completed the 11th year on the business. The second brand we started called Doc Hippo, which just completed two years of uh, public release. And then the third brand we launched is called uh, Draw Hippo. So, so that's how, in a nutshell, how things are uh, things are going here. And uh, if I need to kind of summarize here, that there had been uh, two things in the whole journey. Uh, one is you as an individual, and second is going to be the business as an entity. And if I need to summarize this one, that you as an individual, you have to build trust. So whether it's trust amongst your family members, trust during your college days in the eyes of your professors and your classmates, also trust in the eyes of your prospective and existing customers. So one is trust in terms of your individual. And the second one is going to be on the business side. But let's first kind of, since all of you come from an engineering background, I think you'd be pursuing the, uh, uh, in learning over the period of next four to five years, I thought I will possibly decode this for you. So if you look at trust, so the next question would be that, how do I build trust? Now that you know that you need to build trust, the question would be how? So trust is a very, very vague terminology and people over the period of last few decades, they struggled in terms of uh, understanding that what variables control trust. So then after a lot of research, uh, the two gentlemen, they wrote a book called The Trusted Advisor. And they, they kind of zeroed in on that there are four variables 
uh, that primarily control trust. Uh, and they came out with an empirical formula that trust is directly proportional to credibility, to reliability, intimacy, and inversely proportional to your uh, self-orientation. Let me just explain for you uh, kind of in simpler terms. So let's say you know your subject the best, okay? So if you know your subject the best, automatically your credibility level goes up. So your trust level goes up. That means if you study hard, if you study with attention, your trust level, your credibility goes up in the eyes of the professors, in the eyes of your parents, in the eyes of your classmates. That's like credibility. Then is reliability. So credibility alone is not enough. You need reliability. Let's say you are a good student, but then if you promise that I will do something tomorrow, I'll come back to you tomorrow evening, it has to be tomorrow evening. So if you falter on that, your reliability level goes down. So even if you're credible, you're not very reliable. So you need to work on your reliability factor as well. Third element is called intimacy. Let's say there are a lot of great people who have credibility is high, reliability high, but you don't somehow feel comfortable talking to them. That means the intimacy level is weak. So if your intimacy level is weak, the trust factor goes down, right? And the last factor, which is inversely proportional to trust is called self-orientation. What I mean by self-orientation, let me give you an example. Let's say throughout the day you spend in the college and then in the evening you go back and you have your one-on-one -on -one conversation with your mother. And then you just keep talking to her that, okay, how was your day throughout the college? Uh, what did this professor say? What did that classmate say? How did you spend time after college, etc.? And you don't talk about how did your mother spend time throughout the day, what all she did after a period of time, though she would still have the love factor intact, but somehow th there will be a trust dilution in the whole equation. So it's important that when you're talking to somebody, always keep the interest of the person who is sitting on the opposite. Give that interest the highest priority. So just to kind of make things simpler, so trust is directly proportional to credibility, reliability, intimacy, and inversely proportional to self-orientation. That's primarily governs trust. So anything that you are doing about you is going to be about trust. Second is going to be about business. As I mentioned that you need to insulate your business from you. Both are different entities. If you look at how do you kind of prosper and grow your business, four C's, four kind of a, four things that start with C. One is going to be the capacity. Capacity meaning, for example, uh, is your business going to be uh, a single person company or there are enough capacity available so that even if you are not in the business, business can still run. So it's important that when you're scaling a business, you build capacity in the business. Second is going to be the uh, coverage. So let's say uh, in future, if you build your own company, why are you going to distribute your product? Is it in the local market? or it's globally. If it is at the local market, what happens if there is possibly something happens in the local market, your business will go down, right? So it's important that you hedge your risk, kind of you have multiple geographical coverage so that even if your business goes down somewhere, it can still prosper in other geographies. So that's like coverage is all about. There is going to be your capability. Capability meaning you as a company, are you investing enough in terms of building your capability across the company, capability of your of yourself and your team members so that you can do your job in a much more efficient fashion? And the fourth C is going to be customer centricity. That means how passionate you are in terms of your customer success. Okay, that will govern the success of your business. So if you look at the four Cs for business is going to be your uh, capacity, your coverage, your capability and your customer centricity. So one is trust. And second one is going to be on your business, the four C's. This essentially would define how you're going to uh, define your own future. So with that, I'm almost at the end of my session. Uh, I just have one request across uh, all of you uh, who are budding engineers here, that your family, your parents have sacrificed a lot to raise you up to this point of time. And you have a huge responsibility to give back to them. It possibly is fun to leave them, stay abroad in other states. But after a point of time, you'll realize that had you been all together 
as a family that will give you enough peace of mind and that will actually would be you giving back to them to your family to your parents who have spent their life to raise you so my request to be wherever you are you can start something from the comfort of your home with all the love and affection from your parents and your siblings you can start something and thanks to internet thanks to a global community you can do anything from anywhere there will be ups and downs in whatever you're doing there will be lot of failures in whatever you're pursuing but it's a huge opportunity for you to build something from your hometown i'll be more than happy to if you have any questions but with that i want to kind of thank each one of you and then want to wish you all the very best for whatever you're going to do in the future thank you so much friends any question any question or not the is your senior is a former student of the college of 1998 uh, you have listened to him just now how uh, you know varieties of things he had done in his life he had been in the core job of ceramics in glass industry then he switched over to uh, you know software uh, a company microsoft he was eastern regional head in kolkata in microsoft as i learned and i had a talk sometime in 2000 uh, 2001 to 2010 during that period he was in microsoft then he you know how he built his company how from the pure sales he uh, went into tools business and then he developed these kinds of exciting platforms which are in the market and how you can uh, how how, how uh, what uh, what kind of a thought process he had what a mesmerizing talk i had also listened to him earlier and i think uh, people like you energetic young people young minds would definitely get cherished and uh, you know uh, you will get enthused by his uh, you know uh, uh, career path what he has depicted to you uh, and i am very happy to uh, tell you that this year uh one of the students i i i uh, uh, asked arnab to uh, train one of uh, our students and one of the students of computer science he has uh, taken him and uh, giving internship for 2 uh, 3 months in his company he is learning and uh, more so uh, we will be having uh, some more students also inducted in his company for learning something in future also uh, with that in mind i will ask you Uh, yeah, young people, you you ask some questions to him, so that uh, some sort of inspiration if you get from him, you can learn a lot. This is not a journey; just only studying something, getting a job, and staying abroad or something, doing something of your own. What he has shared, I I I must say that is a real uh, realization in life. What Orlov did, I can share with you my case also. I also had. Uh, always thought that staying with parents staying with siblings staying with everyone and doing something is a better you know uh, uh, coveted thing for me as well so i like ornov stock very much ornov's philosophy very much and uh, definitely uh, this this type of things uh, we're not uh, saying that you have to be influenced by this but see his philosophy what he has done in his life from a uh, ceramic engineering graduate with uh, you know a master's qualification in business administration and finally going into uh, developing a huge company and now he has diversified into so many things so take an inspiration from him you uh, if you want to ask him anything is please ask please ask i I'd, i'd be uh, delighted if you if you ask some questions to him so i have a question i have a question Yes, sir. Please go on. We put your video on and then ask the question. Put your video on, please. Hello, sir. I'm Onirudh Mukherjee. So I have some question. Uh, first of all, uh, how did you manage when you transfer uh, transfer uh, from a manufacturing company to a uh, uh uh software making company how did you how did you uh, manage the pressure okay uh, i think it's a great question uh so i'll i'll give you a kind of an analogy here 
So uh, long back, uh, I had a professor called Professor Kelker. Okay, and he used to teach us uh, management information system. And uh, one day he gave an example. He always used to give extreme examples. He said that, suppose you need to go to the moon. So if you come out of your house, would you take the left turn or the right turn? You don't know, right? You have to go to the moon. So would you have to take the left turn or the right turn? You're not sure. So when the goal is kind of a kind of is pretty distant, all the nitty gritties doesn't matter much. But as you kind of as you keep moving, things become clearer to you. Then you know exactly, okay, if you need to possibly go to the moon, you have to go from this place to this place. From there, you need to go to that place. From there, possibly in a rocket ship to kind of go there. So anything new, uh, oftentimes kind of a, we have a panic attack that, okay, how do we possibly acclimatize ourselves with a new environment? So if you remain true to your kind of your journey, and if you kind of a, I'd say that closely monitor what things are going on, try to learn from that. Over a period of time, as you spend uh, a few weeks and few months, things will become clearer to you and you'll be able to possibly uh, better familiarize yourself with the new process, the new systems. Because essentially, as I mentioned, that all business are the same, whether it's a manufacturing business or a professional services business or a software business is all the same the core functions remain the same. So if you approach with that philosophy, over a period of time, things will become much clearer to you. Okay, so, uh, so another one uh, that your your app docs, Chippo, is it available in Android? Uh, I, I mean, I, I will be very glad to use it because it, 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 it is a it is an amazing app that I've ever ever had. Okay, no, we currently only have a web app so possibly sometime in the next year we'll have the mobile app both for iOS as well as Android. Okay, uh, uh, so it is only available in uh, website form. Yeah, it's available as a web app as of now. Okay, thank you, sir. No problem. Any other question? I have a question. Yeah, yeah. Sir, I have a question. Put your sir. video on. Put your video on and ask the question. Yes, and also, uh, Anirudh Mukherjee, you are from which branch? Sir, I'm from IT branch. Very good, very good. So just gear it up, gear up, gear up for having yeah, something yeah, yeah. of Thank your own. You, sir. Having something of your own. Thank you, sir. I'll, I'll take you to Arnav sometime when you be Thank in third you, year. Sir. Thank you. So you are in third Thank year, you so you much. Are in third year? No, no, sir. I'm in first year. Oh, you were in first year. Okay, okay. When you will be in third year or second year, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll ask Arnav to have people like you who are interested in, uh, you know, be a uh, entrepreneur himself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, yeah. sir. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, any other? Put your video on. Yes, sir. Yes. Give your introduction sir, and ask. Yeah. Sir, my name is Satish Prajapati. Uh, I am in second year ceramic technology. So, uh, sir, I have a question that uh, Indian market is well monetized. Okay. Um, now that you have a uh, product. You want to Banglai Bulchi, huh? Mane Akunjudi Amra, we product a Kajudi, Mane Unokono country, the Bonokono geography, the Amrudi, Mane monetized Kutish, Okonajudi Amra Tajudi, Mane Okanka customer, the Okanka customer, the Judi attract Kutish, Mane Tarjunuki procedure whatever. Mane India Takun, Mane Ekanet, Hoiki Mane, one of the only cheap solution available. Take if I made uh, good quality product, uh, the cost will be very high. Uh, that's why I um, need to uh, how to um, um, market that product abroad. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Right. Okay. Uh, see, in our case, kind of a uh, we used a couple of uh, very cost-effective ways to kind of market any of our services of the product. So one of the levers that we leveraged extensively was YouTube. So every time we used to come out with a new functionality or maybe a new service or a new product, uh, what we used to do is to create a small little video 
uh, on that because it's inexpensive to kind of a, create a video like that. You just need something which can record your video and you need to have an engaging presentation so that you can get, walk the audience through what your, your software or your service is supposed to do and how it's being, it can deliver value to your customer. So uh, YouTube is one of the most cost-effective ways you can penetrate new market. So, and believe you me that uh, oftentimes we underestimate the value of YouTube, uh, but uh, we saw huge success of uh, leveraging YouTube in our own business. Uh, we had no clue that we would get calls from countries like US, Canada, UK, and all of those people, the way they reached us, primarily via YouTube. They looked at our video, they, they thought that possibly our service or our software could be beneficial to them. And hence they reached out to us saying that, hey, can I have a demonstration? Can I try out your product? So on and so forth. So even if you are getting into the core manufacturing business and you, ha you have a demonstrable product that, hey, this is how the product is like, I think it makes sense to create a small video around it. It's one of the most inexpensive ways to kind of reach out new country. There could be other distribution levers, uh, but in our case, YouTube worked the best. Very nice. Any other questions, students? Sir, I have a question, sir. you faced any downs in your profession from Anku Saha, when you faced any downs in your profession, how have you dealt with these problems? Like, how have you motivated yourself for come back again strongly? Great question that uh, I would say that you have to move on. In the sense that you have to, do you have a, do you have a choice? You have no choice. <laughs> you have to move on. There are so many things. There are so many ups and downs. And business is all about uncertainty. I'll give you an example. Like uh, there have been so many, so many times we have failed so miserably. I would give you an example. Like if you look at our doorkeeper business. I had no experience in terms of building a software product. So we set up a small team. Uh, so, and we hired a small team rather uh, who would work uh, kind of for our company and then would build a product. And then after almost one and a half years of building the product, when we were about to launch the product, or just kind of one and a half months from launching it, I realized that there's been a core set of five or six team members whom I hired from outside to build the product has almost hijacked the culture of our company. Our culture of our company was always to remain humble, to respect each other, to build something on the foundation of trust. But then I realized that this there has been some collusion amongst these five or six team members, external team members, who almost ruined our company. And so I had into a huge dilemma at one point of time. I thought that Docupo, the, the dream of Docupo is almost finished because I'm almost one and a half months away from my launch date. At the same time, the core team of five or six team members, they almost started blackmailing me. Uh, so I was on the verge of losing the Docupo business. And then I was having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with my partner, my uh, kind of, she's my life partner as well, Sanjukta, that what to do. Uh, do I kind of compromise on our company culture and do I kind of a kind of, or should I let go of this, let this continue? And then we took a call that, Hey, it's important that we continue on our culture. It's important that we give respect back to our, all our employees who had been there in the company for five, six, seven, eight years. And this five or 16 members whom we hired from outside, they have got no right to kind of, a. uh, uh demoralize the whole organization, put the company culture down. So on one fine morning, kind of a, uh, we bid, good, bid goodbye to the core team of 560 members who were uh, the core team for Docupo. And we built again Docupo grounds up. Uh, so we pushed our launch date for a couple of more months, but we got back the kind of a, a mental peace that we always wanted. We always got back at the kind of culture that we always wanted. So there would be a lot of tough situations, but you need to always kind of believe the fundamentals that you need to trust yourself that hey, you can do it. Uh, even if you have never been experienced into something, you can still do that part of it. There are oftentimes kind of, uh, there's so many occasions 
uh, things were like that where uh, sometimes you are on the zenith of success sometimes you are kind of uh, on the nadir of success so it will always the roller coaster ride will always continue <laughs> i think that's how life is all about any more questions students that was a great lecture sir thank you so much uh, and uh, i wish you all the very best so with that we close uh, thank you sir thank you for having me over here thank you bye bye thank you very much sir thank you very thank much you. bye bye now students uh, next session will be your interaction with the student welfare association i think they have joined rajashi are you there Yes, so the... yes, so I'm here. Okay, so you can carry on. You can carry on. Okay, Rajashi so... will be the host. She will introduce you. Khan Babu, you can I have a. Mat Khan, I put your question. Bull, then I just can't. We do that. Chale, do that. Question for the children. That Uttar, that Adiwar, that guy. I mean, we have to leave him. Our Uttar, that mobile is there. Do that. Chale, question for the children. प्रश्न कर আমি কি মোবাইলে সুইচ করেছি সুযোগ দেবেন তো চ্যাট বক্সে দেখবেন না আপনি মোবাইলে কিসের প্রবলেম হচ্ছে তাহলে চ্যাট বক্স আমি দেখতে পাচ্ছি না মুশকিল হচ্ছে ওইটাতে তাহলে বলবেন না আই লেট ওয়েট ফর মি টু টক ওকে ওকে আই এম ভেরি সরি এই তোমার প্রশ্নটা শতনিক আমি উত্তর দিচ্ছি হোয়াট শুড বি দা বেস্ট আফটার গ্রাজুয়েটিং এমবিএ অর এমটেক থ্রি এই মানে হোয়াট অর্নব ডিড অ্যাকচুয়ালি হি ডিড এন এমটেক ইন বিজনেস অ্যাডমিনিস্ট্রেশন So if you go for MBA, it would solve the purpose. So definitely, if you uh, want to be an M entrepreneur, uh, MBA option would be very good. Or MTech in business business administration is always uh, another another very good option. Okay. So as I want to build products products related to deep technology. Deep yes. So I'll I'll take you to Arnab and sometimes I'll I'll ask him and uh, answer to your question. You keep in touch with me. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry that the session ended abruptly. Uh, I could not intervene. I was just seeing it, and so it, it ended like this. Very part because my computer was uh, creating problem. So okay, I yeah, joined I, I, I in. Discuss anything? Okay. Uh, the Shatanik Shah. Shatanik Shah. Which branch are you from? The ceramics technology, sir. Uh, ceramics first, first year. First year. Third sem. Third sem. Second year. Ceramics. Oh, acha acha. Shatanik Shah. I, I I might have missed your name. Okay, so um, you you uh, get in touch with me. I'll ask the same question. You uh, put it in the form of a uh, you know uh, WhatsApp. You take it take it from Pornasi Sha. She knows my uh, uh, Pornasi Bishas. She knows my uh, mobile number. Or I am in the group uh, uh, as well. You you put that question. I'll ask Orno and get it to you. Okay. I'm sorry sorry that it ended abruptly. I am also very sorry. Bye. Okay. Me. Okay. Bye. Uh, I'll make a move. I'll have to go to doctor and immediately move to Kiritpur area. Okay. Okay. Thank you very Thank much you. for. Thank you. I think uh, participants are quite uh, high, and I invited some third years also for this talk. There is 99 now. Okay. Bye. I am taking a move. The meeting was very nice, but. Due to my problem with my computer, I had to switch on to mobile. I couldn't see the chat box. I'm not confident. It's confident with my mobile. I have never used my mobile before. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, sir, for that. Thank you. Uh, well, Rajeshi, you can continue. Okay, sir. Yeah. So I guess all of the class representative and the. SWA member has joined. Tell her yes or no in the chat. Hello. Hello. 
Hello. Aisha, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so Bikram, shall we start? Yes, 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 please. Okay, yeah. Okay, so uh, good morning to one and all. I am Rajeshree Chatterjee. I am currently the General Secretary at the Student Welfare Association. So today, basically, we are having three slots, basically. So in the first slot, we will be introducing the Welfare Association to you all. In the second slot, we will have an introduction session with you people. And tomorrow in the third slot, we will have a like a friendly quiz competition. So that quiz will be basically on the on our college. So you will be asked some details about our college. So that will just to make you more friendly and comfortable with our college. So at first today, we will having a presentation. OK, so I will share my screen and start with the presentation. And so let's start it. So I guess my screen is visible. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Visible. Okay. So this is the Students Welfare Association welcomes you all, the newcomers. That is the batch of 2021 to 2025. So history lesson like 73 Avinash Chandra Banerjee Land, Kolkata, 7 lakh 10. So that's the address of our college. So let's have a history lesson. That is a quick review. So it began as the Bengal Ceramic Institute in 1942. It was renamed as the College of Ceramic Technology in 1962. And further, it was renamed as Government College of Engineering and Ceramic Technology in 2005. And we call it as GCECT. Next, uh, since we are having a virtual induction, so we will have a virtual tour of the college. So let's see that. So that was the virtual tour of the college. Ah, oh, sorry. Next, so what is GCCT Students Welfare Association? So you might all be curious to know. So moving on to the next slide. So before moving on, like what is GCCT Student Welfare Association? So we will be meeting the office bearers first. So first we have our president, Adik Toda. Then we have our vice president, Shankhudev. Uh, then myself, Rajeshi Chatterjee. I already said that I'm currently serving as the general secretary. Next, we have Bikram. He's the treasurer. Oh, sorry. 
Uh, next, we have Molloy, the game secretary. Next, we have Oyun, the cultural secretary. And we have Akash as our assistant general secretary. Next, what is the Jesse City Students Welfare, Welfare Association all about? So a mini memorandum. So basically, we provide our unity and communication among you students and the alumni of our college. We provide a platform for the students, that is for you all, to voice your opinions, suggestions, and even complaints. We mentor overall development of a student, that is the academic development, professional development, cultural development, technical development. For that, we have various clubs in our college. I will talk about them later in the slides. We organize and encourage various co-curricular activities, and all student clubs of GCCT are a part of the GCCT Student Welfare Association. And what else? So we have annual sports tournament organized by the organization. So here is a snap of that. Next, Aghas, that is the Freshers' Welcome, Teachers' Day, Independence Day, Republic Day, Ravinder Chanti, Shashit Pujo, Finally a Farewell, etc. are all organized by the association. So we have few few snaps of that. This is of the Shashit Pujo. This is uh, Independence Day. Uh, this is Teachers' Day. This is Aghas, the Freshers' Welcome. This is of the Vishakarma Pujo. Next, moving on, we have two of our flagship events, Jagriti and Karma Tech. So Jagriti is our annual cultural flag fest. So it's generally held in between the month of March and April. So we have various events in the cultural fest, starting with the ramp walk, a dry like non-fire cooking competition, band performances, guest band, band competitions. So in the next slide, we have a few of the snaps. So... This is our college band performing at Jagriti. Uh, this is a dance performance. This is the Bolpur Blues. Uh, this is Akriti, that is basically the ramp walk. And this is Revolution, the guest band performances. Next, we have another flagship technical event, Karma Tech. So Karma Tech is basically about robotics. We have four important sectors in Karma Tech, robotics, coding, gaming, and some fun events. So this is a picture of a robo carom. So on the next slide, we will have a few more pictures of Karma Tech. So uh, this is the team Karma Tech for the year 2019. Uh, this is the gaming. This is the gaming has been going on. Uh, this is the track for RoboRes. Uh, this is also a snap of RoboRes. These bots are built by the college students and students from other colleges also participate in the competition. Uh, this is a coding competition is going on. This is Robo Football. And this is Robo Carom. Moving on next, now you will be wondering that how to be a member of the Students Welfare Association because as the name suggests, the Students Welfare Association is for the student, by the student and of the student. So from here, regarding the registration process, I will ask Vikram to brief that. Yeah, so good afternoon everyone. Myself, Vikram Dash. I am currently a final year student in Ceramic Technology Department. And besides this, I am the treasurer of GCCT Students Welfare Association. So now I will brief you about the registration process. So I think you uh, all know that uh, to be a member or to be a part of any uh, organization or any uh, association, there is uh, some process to be the member of this association. So here is the registration process where you can clearly see, see that the, there is written well, every student must be a member of the Students Welfare Association. So from the very first day, I want to clear that Every student, every new student of the GCCT has to be the member of GCCT Students Welfare Association. No one can remain out of this uh, uh, student association. So everyone has to be the member. So to be a member of the Students Welfare Association, you need to bound it by the memorandum of the association and pay a minimal amount of 1500 rupees as the registration fee. So basically you have to pay the registration fee which is 1500 rupees to be the member of the our GCCT SW GCCT SWA so uh, here uh, I will show you the the breakup why we are taking the money uh, 1500 so here is the breakup here you can see uh, the first breakup is uh, SWA membership which is 500 rupees uh, actually it is the registration fees uh, in the association which is 500 rupees then coming to the cultural activities fees which is 200 rupees and then uh, it we are coming to the sports activities fees which is 200 rupees and take uh, we have take clubs uh, later you will know about that Raishu will tell about these things 
so there is a tech club so we have uh, we are charging uh, tech activities fees as 300 rupees and placement and training fees as 300 rupees so basically you have to pay this rupee uh, pay this amount to be the member of registration uh, to be the member of our association and uh, how can you uh, what is the process what is the next page so for these reasons you are paying the rupees 1500 rupees and uh, how to pay the uh, rupees uh, here is the details of our uh, association's bank account uh, here you can see gccd students welfare association account name account number is given and ifsc code is also given so what what you have to do is uh, you have to pay the rupees 1500 rupees in this bank account through any mode of payment uh, whatever you can do so then you have to take the screenshot of this payment receipt and you have to upload the receipt you can see the google form google form link we will share you that uh, with your students uh, some of you may contact us for the uh, uh, google form link so here you, you can you have to add your basic details basic informations which are are required to be uh, to be a member of any association so these things you have to give and you have there is there there will be a section where you have to uh, upload the uh, receipt uh, that you have paid the amount 1500 rupees so here is the registration process i think i made clear all the things how to become the member of the gccd swa and how to pay the fees and why you are paying so if anyone have any query regarding this you can ask and feel free to ask i know this is the first day uh, we are in we are doing a introduction with you so feel free to ask if there are any query to you regarding this uh, am so, i audible yes 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 you are uh, thank you so much bikram uh, das uh, that was uh, uh, really informative actually i missed the last part unfortunately can you kindly repeat that if uh, but, uh, which la which last part uh, the uh, payment process uh, yes where we need to okay, send the okay. screenshot and that part. okay okay yeah, okay, okay. okay i am repeating the whole thing okay i am repeating the whole thing actually you have to pay the amount 1500 uh, rupees uh, which is uh, where the bank details are given you can see clearly bank account name account number ifsc code so you have to simply transfer the money 1500 rupees in this bank account uh, then you have to take the screenshot i uh, if you were paying in online mode then uh, everyone is available to take the screenshot so take the screenshot and there is a google form link where rashi can we add the link in the description uh, like then i need to stop my screen share okay okay then leave it okay some of you, uh, some of your students uh, someone will please contact us uh, we will share our phone numbers uh, that uh, we are we will provide you the google form link where uh, you have to you have to go to the google form and fill up the details the basic details we need uh, from you to know you better so you have to fill up fill the basic details then there will be a section where you have to add a photocopy uh, then uh, in this photocopy section you have to upload the screenshot okay then the, you have to submit the form simply and the registration process will be completed so i think i i made it clear any other queries any can you uh, can i ask a, ask a question yes yes, yes please uh, what will be the last date uh, for doing all these procedures yes yes yes, yes. we will uh, we will connect you shortly to uh, give to give you a b better idea regarding this and we will share you shortly the what what is the last date of uh, contributing this money uh, preferably uh, we are inform we are informing you uh, uh, today so you can pay the money as soon as possible and uh, obviously there will be a uh, deadline to uh, submit the money so we will connect you later and we will uh, the through your uh, any students we you will get to know about that later okay so what will and uh, and one thing uh, the what rajesh already said that ki uh, we have our cultural fest which is uh, jagriti which uh, normally helds in uh, the month of um, april and may yeah uh, carry so, on yes yes my yes. slide got disturbed okay okay so uh, which is uh, so basically mane byapar ta hocche amader march april er je khanda phase ta hoy e bochor du bochor dhore jeta situation torao janis je du bochor dhore pandemic er jonno uh, 
আমরা করতে পারিনি মানে বেসিক্যালি দু কুড়ি একুশে ফেস্ট হয়নি তো এই বছরে ফেস্টটা হবে সো সেটা আমরা আশা করছি ডিসেম্বর বা জানুয়ারিতে ফেস্ট করব তো অ্যাকচুয়ালি দিস ইজ দ্য রেজিস্ট্রেশন ফিস অ্যান্ড ব্যাপারটা হচ্ছে তোদের ফেস্ট ফিসও একটা হয় যেখানটা তোরা ফেস্ট ফিসটা দিবি সেখানটা তোরা একদিন দুদিনের ফেস্ট হয় সেখানটা সব প্রোগ্রাম এনজয় করতে পারবি প্লাস মার্চেন্ডাইজ প্লাস ফুড প্যাকেজ সব কিছু ইনক্লুডেড থাকে খাওয়া দাওয়া গেঞ্জি তো ওইগুলোর জন্য আলাদা ফিস্ট ফিস এটা সবাইকে দিতে হয় ও আর একটা যেটা মেন কথা দিস দ্য রেজিস্ট্রেশন ফিস ইট ইজ ইট ইজ ওয়ান টাইম তো থ্রু আউট ইয়ার ফোর ইয়ার্স ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং কলেজ লাইফ ইউ হ্যাভ টু পে পে ইট ওয়ান্স সো এভরি ইয়ার ফার্স্ট ইয়ার স্টুডেন্টস কেম অ্যান্ড দে অল হ্যাভ টু পে দ্য ওয়ান থাউজেন্ড ফাইভ হান্ড্রেড রুপিস ফিস অ্যাজ এ রেজিস্ট্রেশন ফিস অফ দ্য এসডাবলিউএ সো মানে বেসিক্যালি তোদেরকে এটা হচ্ছে ওয়ান টাইম ফিস এটা একবার দিবি চার বছরের জন্য এই টাকাটা নেওয়া হচ্ছে চার বছরের জন্য আর ফেস প্রতি বছর হয় প্রতি বছরের ফেস ফিস সেটা সেইভাবে দিতে হয় তো বেসিক্যালি ফে তোদেরকে এখনই একবার বলে রাখছি যে ফেস ফিসও এর সাথে আমরা ঠিক করে নিলে এর সাথে ফেস ফিসটাও অ্যাড করে বলে দিতে বলা হবে তো সেইগুলো তোদেরকে পরে জানিয়ে দেওয়া হবে যে একটা ফেস ফিসও এর উপরে দিতে হয় তো সেটা সবাই জানিস কলেজে যে উঠে দিস ফেস্টিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভিটিভ
so the agenda or as follow you can see the agenda so the agenda is like to promote a technology based culture in our institution to inculcate an interest in various domains and solidify the academic foundation of a student encouraging student to interact with and help their peers and collectively grow as a community and to develop project based learning system next we have our culture club so shriya borua is the dance lead vikram dash is the drama lead on is the music lead on chitrakar is the photography lead and ronak manages the recitation lead all of them are final year student uh, next the agenda of this is to provide a pathway for the student to follow and discover their artistic drives getting a altered glimpses of themselves through the mirror of fine arts rearing a sense of cultural awareness to enjoy a more holistic and refined life and to improve on essential skills such as teamwork time management and multitasking abilities through various performance arts next we have some of our uh, clubs and communities we have endeavor this is basically the blogging community of gcct next we have gcct gaming community and we have gcct rotaract club okay moving on to the next slide gcct rotaract club so you can see the agenda from here so basically gcct rotaract club organizes various uh, social welfare activities for the society and the student of a college take part in them to help the society in various social welfare activities uh, so meet the team we have shohar do mihi joyita aniruddh akash and shubrima all of them are currently third year students of a college next endeavor gcct this is a blogging community so what we aim for is to create a virtual platform so that the current students alumni and even professors can share their thoughts in form of blogs or in form of poem or writing or articles so that people get to know them and we are currently working on the website uh, in a few days the website will be uh, live and you will get to uh, share your blogs also as well and meet the team the admins are shitam aniruddh ponnashree and potroy so shitam and aniruddh are third year students and ponnashree and potroy are second year students and advisor we have as akash roy akash roy is also my batchmate he is a final year student uh, next we have the gcc city gaming community so here its agenda is to collect each and every efficient gamers for all sort of games so that they can show their supremacy in coming life on our group as well as on our page yeah so we have a gcc city gaming community page as well as a group on facebook so you can search basically uh, the gcc city gaming community gcc city rotary club in various social media handles and you can follow them next uh, here also meet the team we have dimitri ghosh as the creator molal mondol as the game secretary shankudeep roy arjit ghosh bitan chakraborty ronit roy buddhadeep mukherji rahul dalal and shoji dotto and as the moderators amitabh chatterjee rishi mukherji urnadhay gorai masood hasan and shoham shadukar next uh, this is a group photo here uh, so this is the assistant general secretary game secretary treasurer i president vice president and cultural secretary and As Bikram said, for any queries, you can drop a mail at gcctsw21 at the gmail dot com, and you can also contact us. The first phone number is mine, and the second one is Bikram. So for any queries or any question regarding the registration process or fees payment, you can contact Bikram. And apart from that, any problem, any complaint, any suggestion, any issues you have been facing, be it academic, be it professional, be it anything, you can contact me regarding that. So we will be always be there, and we will help you in every way possible. so i will request you to note down the number and so after noting it down tell us that it's already been noted noted okay so next thank you so any questions Uh, yes, this is Dibago Ganguly from the CAC department. Uh, yeah. I have a couple of questions. Yeah, sure. Ask. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, as you mentioned in the in the slide in the slide show that there would be a single representative from each department for the first year student. Yeah. Uh, so roughly each department hold forty to sixty students, and uh, we have barely met in person. So, how would this uh say a representative from each department you know be selected on which qualifications okay uh, when which qualifications is basically like you people like you will people will soon have a whatsapp group maybe you have it or maybe you will have it so and your classes will start soon so the one who communicate with the teachers who communicate with the uh, like the association with the other students so basically the one who is active is basically 
chosen as the class representative so every year the students of the class only choose their class representative like last year also it has been virtual the batch of 2020 has also not been yet met them in person in college so they have also done this procedure in virtual mode only so like you create a whatsapp group you talk among yourself like list out people who wants to be the class representatives and then like you decide among yourself so there will be one class representative from cc one from ct and one from it take your time take a time of about one month then decide it's you're no you're not in a hurry and for that time at least two or three students from each of the department uh, like kindly share your uh, number in the chat so that i can contact any of them if there is any necessity uh, clear there yeah. Uh, yes, another question I have, yeah, sure. uh, it's for the gaming department. Uh, yeah. I would like to know which consoles are considered, you know, for the gaming tournaments and for the, uh, you know, uh, included in the gaming department. Uh, so, uh, I cannot give you a lot of details about it. So, what you can do is like, you can uh, join the GCC gaming community group and there is also a community page in Facebook and there you will get to uh, know about the, there is already I mentioned the, admin panel and also in the facebook group also you can see the admin panel so you can connect them and know about the particular console what you're talking about but as of what i can say you that basically the uh as of now the bgmi cup uh pace tournament these are the things that have been organized by the uh, gc city gaming community so it's show home here I don't know. He is here, but he is not telling anything. Uh, show him here. Okay, okay, that's okay. You will get to know about these things when, uh, whenever uh, your uh, what can I say, uh, class representative is selected, they will uh, c come in contact with other uh, your seniors or other your communities. You can search the whatever the clubs uh, mentioned by Rajoshi. You can search in the in all of the social medias like Instagram, uh, Facebook. So you can join the groups, and uh, after that you can communicate the uh, moderators or the admins in the panel. So uh, in this in this way you can connect uh, with with them, and you will get to know about your questions that uh, you are asking that your uh, controlling panel or what. So you can uh, know about them. Yeah, know about this from them. Okay. Uh, so can you please drop down the Instagram handles or the Facebook profiles okay. to which, uh, which, okay. which which can connect to them? Actually, actually, uh, uh, we can drop down, but uh, here's a WebEx. We, if you have to drop down the link, it's okay. We... Uh, it's okay if, uh, uh, like, I can connect uh, with you yes, via yes. WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Connect you via WhatsApp. I'm sure. Yeah, sure. Yes, yes. yes the sure. WhatsApp num the WhatsApp numbers of Rajeshi and me is already shared. You can. Yes, Contact I have us. noted them down and I'll yes. ping you up very soon so yeah. I can sure, we can sure. share our details and information because I uh, as a student I am very much interested in all these uh, yeah, that's a co sign, that's a, activities. Yes. That's and a very I, good thing. Yes. We will short, shortly connect you. Okay. And for the GCCT Tech Club and the Cultural Club, we have to WhatsApp group. So I have shared the link in the chat so you can join the group and for like various notification letter. Uh, yes, I'll uh, ping up uh, with both the uh, people who are uh, representing the slide right now. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, you ping me up and for others. And we can, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Uh, any more questions? Do you see Partho sir here? Yes, sir. Uh, it would be better if you. Uh, you you all talk amongst yourself uh, by keeping your video on if there is no network issue. So the, actually, uh, my video is getting also, lag. No, no. If there is network issue, then it is all right. But if you don't have network issue, at least you can see your face, right? Yeah, sure. I have kept it on. A and uh, uh, in the second half also, you have a session, right, Rajushi? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, are you also available from uh, two thirty onwards also? Uh, uh, sir, in the general, uh, yeah, no, in the in the second half, the vice president will be there, and like he will lead the session in the second half. Like Shankudip will. Uh, lead in the session. second half, they have a session oh, from three thirty. Yeah. No, 3 actually, sir, uh, Khan sir, what happened? Uh, 
professor gautam sutradhar is the director of nit monipur we know yes. and uh, he he has called me in the morning and he maybe he may tell feel network issue okay so that that is why sir is uh, already with his alternate arrangement but still if okay. the situation demands can we switch those two events with very short notice i don't know whether it will be possible or not sir is uh, with his personal dongle one mobile setup and with his wifi setup but uh, three four alternatives are there sir is trying his best to be join at 230 But if network fails, if okay. Network fails, then he can continue. Whenever he joins, he can continue. Okay. He can continue okay. today. I uh, I I, I hope I hope there will, late, there will be no problem. If he joins late, mm-hmm. uh, listen to me. If he joins late, he can continue his session because students welfare session even also has an as uh, appointment uh, tomorrow from three fifteen. He okay, can okay. continue. In largest fee, they can take their session up today if it is needed. Okay, okay. Okay, yes, the uh, con- persons who are okay. uh, who are on uh, tomorrow, they are from outside. I won't be able to contact them uh, right now. Yeah. So, from the side of the students, any more questions? Ah, uh, Partho, any more question, Partho? No sir, no no, nothing nothing. No sir, no. It's all right. Okay, I'm having an issue with my network, so I'm switching. On, I'm switching on from my mobile. I'm not at all accustomed to my mobile. Ah, uh, Rajeshi, please continue. Ah, uh, okay sir. So, any more questions from the sides of the students? Uh, uh, am uh, am I audible? Yeah, you are. uh yes uh, my name is shiv kosh uh, i am okay, uh, second year uh, second year uh, third semester csc department and classmate okay. of shiv uh, so uh, actually uh, at one was, minute you are you are from second year or first year uh, second year third semester okay okay so like uh, you are from so, the batch of shiv home right yes uh, absolutely okay, sure. and yeah. actually i was admitted uh, through lateral entry after i did okay. my diploma so uh, okay. actually i am relatively new as well so yeah. uh, i just first of all i just wanted to take this opportunity to thank our seniors third years and fourth years for conducting this informative program today uh, it was really information information if you are not coming you just switch on switch off your video and again try it okay sir Sir, actually, uh, uh, there is a network issue, so the video is getting lagged. Actually, yes, yes, today there is a big network issue. Yes, sir, we all are facing the same thing, sir. Yeah, actually, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. In the morning, uh, Ritu Pono sensor could not join earlier. Professor, uh, what do you call Bondo Bada also had joined, of course. He didn't have an issue, but Professor Sen had an issue and had to join late. So you carry on. Ah, uh, so yeah, she you were carrying on. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, sir. Actually, uh, I just wanted to say that uh, I just wanted to thank uh, Rajeshi and uh, Bik- uh, Bikram, our seniors, for conducting such an informative session today. And uh, the main point, uh, just I wanted to say that uh, I felt like the session tonight was really like it was a lot of information to grab or hold on to in one go. Uh, so if yeah. uh, 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 we can just have a copy of the PDF or the slides which were circulated, I think that would be great because then we will will get all the information and whoever. Has missed out, they will get the access to. So I think uh, that could be a great idea because everything okay. was shared so fast. It was a lot of information. Yeah, yeah, actually. Okay, sure. I will share the slides with you. So for the for you people, Shiv, I will share the slides to show home. But for the first year people, uh, just only Shubham Sharma from IT department has gave his number. So some of the few students from CT as well as from CEC, if you can kindly ping your number in the chat box, so that will be a help for us. Yes, yes, yes. Someone, someone, some people, please show us uh, some interest to uh, contact us. So otherwise, we can't send the PPTs and all the things. Actually, so please show some interest. Anyone from you that put on your mic and say that uh, I can take the okay. yes. Yes, I, I am. I will be. Con- I am Jabago Gangui from the Computer Science Department. I will be contacting okay. you very soon. Okay. okay. 
contact with Rajshree and any anyone from uh, information technology and ceramic technology. Yes, sir. My name is. Yes. I'm from uh, ceramic technology. Uh, I can be a part of it. Okay, okay sure. Let's... Connect connect with any one of us. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. You can take Even both number. of us also. Okay, you okay. Take, tell your number. Uh, like uh, in the chat box, you give it. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, sure. Okay, and from I the Department I, of Information Technology. Uh, hello. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yes, I'm have... Shivanna Manna from IT department. Okay. Am I audible? Yeah, yes, you yes. are. Yes, yes. I am interested to connect it with all of you. Okay, so just you have to do one thing. Uh, uh, you you uh, ping one of us. Uh, otherwise, uh, share your number. Do one mm. thing. Okay, okay. I understand. I understand. I will yes. send uh, the number to all of you. Mm. Okay, okay. That's okay. That's enough. Okay, sure. Uh, okay. Uh, so. Anything, any, anyone having yeah, any, any more time? question? And in yes, the chat box, we have. Uh, okay, Hello? okay, okay. You continue with the question. Yeah, you continue yeah. with the question. Can you please elaborate on the tech club? Actually, I got to know about the three tech clubs. So, can we participate in both three clubs or uh, any one of the following? No, no. Actually, the thing is like uh, the tech club is one, and under the tech club, like under the umbrella of the tech club, we have three campus chapters. So, campus chapters are basically like. Uh, like it's in collaboration with the Google uh, Google Developer Student Club, so it's like a collaboration between us and the Google Developer Student Club, a collaboration between us and Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador, a collaboration between us and Code Chef. So you can participate in all of the three. As like we do not have three tech clubs. Okay, so like to just uh, like to clarify your thing, we have only one tech club, but we have three campus chapters which are the part of the tech club. And yeah, you can participate in all of the campus chapters. Like you can be the member of all of the campus chapters. And it's absolutely free to be the members of them, and also you can be the the member of the tech club. So I have ping the uh, ping the chat link in the chat, like the link of the WhatsApp chat for the tech club as well as for the culture club. The group. Yeah, okay, so the group, that yeah, you all, uh, thank you. Yeah, all of you join the group, so that will do. It it is a very first day. You are knowing all about this thing, so you will get to know about these things later on a large scale. So there yeah, will be like, no confusion. Yeah, it's like, a very first day, so yeah. don't confuse. You will be guided in in every such a way. Okay. Yeah, like like we just give you a glimpse of what are the student activities, yes. what is the student welfare association all about. But for the GCCT club, culture club, we will be having introductory sessions for you all people, so that you will get to know them well better. So. Yes. Any more questions? Feel free to ask. Uh, not uh, a question exactly. This is Shiv again. Okay. Actually, uh, okay. I just wanted to uh, like one last uh, note. I wanted to put out there because Bikramda mentioned that uh, this year, like they will finally we will be having a tech fest and cultural fest, hopefully offline and physical in the college, uh, probably yeah. in January, February next year. So, uh, like I am really grateful and looking forward to that. And I want to thank all of our seniors for putting in their best efforts to make this happen because for the last two years with everything online, it was really yeah. not. It was a huge rough patch. So thank you so much for that once again. Okay. Oh, yeah. Pleasure. That, pleasure yes. on our side. <laughs> yeah. So preferably the cultural fest will be in the month of December, and the tech fest will be in the month of February March. Yes. So we are trying our best. So <laughs> let's see. Okay. Yeah. Where we nice can land up to? Yes. Okay. Anything? Anyone? <laughs> Any question, Perry? Even any difficulties you have been facing? Okay, it might be first day, so they were, I think, too a much. bit shy. Yes. Okay, and don't worry. So it's a very first uh, introduction with you. So I think I look forward to have such a more uh, great memories with you. So I think no one is having any question, Rajshri. So we can. Yeah, we can wrap up. Yes. So. Okay. So. Uh, that's all for this session. In the next session, we will have an introduction session. Like you people will have a short introduction, like what's your name, where you're from, and what was what is your department. And that session will be led by Shankar Pre. He is the vice president of the Student Welfare Association, and also the class representative will be there. So that will be a interactive session, more of a not a formal session. So get ready for that. And for tomorrow, we will have a healthy quiz competition. As I said, that that will be basically on the college like what is that short form of the college so questions like this like what is the name of yes. the cultural fest so yes. questions like this 
so just to make you more involved about the college and we can also have a treasure hunt tomorrow that is we will ask to do something like uh, if you wish like if you are interested in any form of cultural activity so anything like that so we will have that tomorrow and for today we will have the introduction session in the second half so thank you everyone so we can wrap it now thank you so much thank you everyone thank you so thank you everyone. thank you rajesh ji thank you sir Second in the second session, I think as Partha sir has told, you yes, may sir. be having uh, less time. Okay, sir, sure, sir. So that uh, is having problem on joining. Also, please bear with it. Okay. Yeah, sure, sir, sure, sir. I will, I will convey that to Shankudip. Okay, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay sir. So, so, that, so do you, do you want to wrap it up right now, or do you want to continue? No, sir. We want to wrap it now, right? Because you All have right. time till one thirty. Yeah, like, but if we start with the introduction, it will be a halfway call. So we are preferring to start it at and the second. You can, you can start. You can start with some. You can carry on, and then you can carry on with the next next uh, uh, people in the second half. That will be better, I think, because you may not have a lot of time left in the second half. Because right now you have a lot. You have at least half an hour left. Yeah, about half an hour left. So, Bikram, yes. shall we carry on? Okay, so we can carry on. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay, so from the participant list, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You carry on. Okay, sir. So, anyone started? Started. So, just tell me your name, you're from, and your department, and your hobbies. Just. Just this four point because we need just to keep short, the introduction just a short. short. Intro, just a short intro. Uh, am I audible? Yeah. Uh, hello, hello everyone. Uh, am I visible now? Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you are. Yeah. You are. You are. Yeah. So uh, hello everyone. Hello seniors. Uh, my name is Anirudh Mukherjee. I'm from IT department, uh, and I live in uh, Damdam, South Damdam, actually. And okay. uh, uh, I passed uh, my 10 plus 2 from Damdam Kishor Bharati High School. Okay. Uh, so generally, my hobbies are uh, I, 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 like to, I like to hear songs and I like to, I like to sing a little bit. And uh, I like to play cricket. Uh, I'm a bit interested in it. Uh, that's, that's it. Thank you. Okay. Nice one it is. Okay. So, yeah. next one, please. Uh, I'm the Babu Ganguly again from yeah. the computer science department, first year. Uh, so, I did my higher secondary education from Calcutta Boys School main branch, which is in Molali. Okay. Uh, so, for, uh, as you know, class 12 was totally online, so nothing yeah. much of uh, co curricular activities could be done. Uh, yeah. In class 11, I was our house's vice captain. Okay. I was the school football's goalkeeper and okay. I was also the recipient of the award of the best goalkeeper award in Concord 2019, which okay. is one of the oldest inter-school festival uh, fests in Kolkata. Yeah. Uh, I was also uh, di uh, during the inter-house matches, uh, in, during the sports sessions of our school. I was the, I won a gold in tug of war, so I'm very much into sports as you can see. Okay. Uh, also, I was uh, part of the gaming community in our uh, school. Uh, so there was a fest in Saint, uh, Saint James in which we parted and won the second uh, second position. And yeah, that's much of it. So I'm much okay. into gaming, sports, and you know, also you can see drama. Okay. So yeah, so join the gaming community, join our cultural club, and we will be having dramas and tournaments soon. Okay. Yes, I'm looking very forward to meeting yeah. you guys yeah. in person and also yeah, sure. putting yeah, your value to the community. Yeah, that's from you yourself. That's a very good sign. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next. Next, anyone? Hello. Yeah, hi. Uh, my name is Alapan. Uh, okay. Yeah, actually, uh, I completed my class 12 uh, in from DPS. Uh, okay. So uh, my hobbies, my hobbies are uh, basically I make uh, uh, music. Uh, I make make music like slow music, like blues and uh, something like that. And wow. uh, I'm into photography. Okay. Uh, 
I actually I started uh, making music in class 11 when the class 12 when the lockdown started. Uh, I didn't realize that it will interesting, but uh, now I make music uh, every now and then. And uh, I think that if I don't uh, get if I get time in my future, then I will uh, start my secondary career as a music composer. So that's uh, okay. for myself. And I that's I'll quite interesting to join the music yeah. community. Yeah, sure. We have our Thank cultural you. club and we have on as the music lead. So join the cultural club. We will get to know a lot about music. Even we have a college band. So you may take part in that too. Yeah, so I'll join that. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Next. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, audible. Yeah. I said so weak. So weak, so. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry to say, ma'am, I can't attend the whole season but uh, recently i have joined this class and uh, i just saw in my group that one registration form is uh, google google form format is in my phone and i have ju i have just started to fill up it ma'am i want to ask that uh, the re university registration fees and these registration fees are both are same or different okay so you missed the whole thing uh, what your name shovik so first of all, I want to say, Shobik, yes. you don't call, you don't have to call ma'am or sir. We are the only seniors of, okay. You can simply call Dada or Didi, okay. So that's the first thing. Okay. And uh, coming to your question. So basically you said that it is not the same of university registration fees. Actually, we are the uh, GCCD Students Welfare Association. Yeah, so, so basically the student to... council. Yes, we are the student council. So actually uh, it's our college. Uh, what can you say what anything you can say the actually the newcomers new students of every year have to be the member of the our uh, GCCT students welfare association actually the students council of our college so to become the member uh, it is uh, everywhere you you might know that so everywhere you have to pay a registration fees so there is also a registration fees of amount 1500 to be the member of the GCCT SW and everyone has to be the member so you have to pay the 1500 rupees pre uh, at first then you have to fill up the form then there there is a section where you have to upload the uh, payment receipt uh, I, can, I mean the screenshot you have to okay. get, the paid screenshot you have to upload then you have to simply su submit the form and your registration process with our student with students council of your college will be completed in this way anything else oh okay okay and one one, one more question uh, when i fill up the form i just uh, see one option that uh, my hobbies yeah actually i i wrote uh, poetry stories and others and some of some of in, in online magazines my writings are posted and some in some books also uh, so, so is, there, is there any college magazine where i can also write yeah, yes, we have, yes, yes. yeah, we have yeah. our blogging community. So we will like we are currently working on the website. So after that, since all of things are virtual now, so basically what we have is a website. You can like uh, send your blogs to the admin panel and they will review it. And then finally it will be get uploaded to the website. So we are currently working on the website. So yeah, we have our blogging community. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dada. Uh, I mean, okay, okay. okay. So continuing with our uh, introduction process, uh, next one. Anyone? Uh, Vikram, uh, there is a uh, thing in the chat box that if the payment would be in Instamojo or GPay, then it would have been easier for us. So if you tell them the procedure in GPay. Okay, actually uh, the people who don't know about the procedure of GPay, you simply have to open your uh, Google Pay app, then you have to go to the new payment new payment after going to the new payment you will find the option that is uh, written there uh, which will be the bank transfer so you have to simply go to this option and you have to fill up the details where the name will be the G government college of engineering and ceramic technology and there uh, we have provided you the account number and ifsc code also so you have to simply put the details and have to pay the amount 1500 so i think i made it clear someone please respond is it clear to you someone please someone please uh, yeah. your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. please open your gp open yeah, your yeah. gp app those people have please open your gp app
then can you find the option new payment everyone yeah please, res please respond yes okay so yes, uh, going to the new payment option you will find the option bank transfer you have to simply click on the bank transfer there you can see there is the sections where they are want the account number re-enter the account number IFSC code already provided and recipient name may, uh, go, the college name. This is it, no, this is the Students Welfare Association. Okay, yes, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm so, extremely sorry. The recipient name will be the uh, GCCT Students Welfare Association. Please make sure uh, when you are writing the name of the Students Welfare Association, the apostrophe S, which is after this, please, I think those people who are trying to do, do this right now, please careful about the spelling and then you have to press continue and then you have to made a payment of 1500 rupees then take a screenshot of the, that then you have to go to the google form then you have to provide your information upload the screenshot in the uh, preferred area then you have to submit it and the, your registration process will be completed and we will shortly uh, name अच्छा राजेश एक बार लिखे दे तो पूरा टा उधर चैट बॉक्स है एक तो लिखे दे ओके ओके अब तो उधर क्या पीपीडी टा दिए तो वो पीपीडी रोज़ जाकर टाइप पूरो ये टा हमारे बैंक डिटेल्स से ये गुलो आशे बैंक डिटेल्स टा आशे वो कौन टा पूरो सब कुछ लिखा आशे पीपीडी टा दिए तो वो उधर बंदूरा कॉ আমরা পিপিডি দিয়ে দেব একজন করেছে আমি পাঠিয়ে দেব পিপিডি কা সেশনটা হয়ে যাক আমি ওদের বলেছি তো আমি পাঠিয়ে দেব আর এর মধ্যে গ্রুপে ফরওয়ার্ড করে নেবে আর আপাতত আমি চ্যাট বক্সে দিয়ে দিয়েছি তো তোর ওটা এখন আপাতত দেখে নিতে পারিস তো when is the last day to pay the money so actually it is it is not decided yet but you try to submit the fees as soon as possible actually at the end everyone has to pay so whenever you you are feel free to pay so whenever you have the chance so pay it as soon as possible okay but and yeah but will... you are, yeah but if there is no pressure so you have the month of october to pay like yes. you can take the month of october so there is no pressure it. that you have to pay to devil so yes. nothing like there that. will be a obviously there will be a uh a uh, deadline end. so yeah but in but now you can pay through the whole month of the october so anything else so dada thank you okay uh, i had a little question for our seniors yes. actually uh, the google form uh, which was just shared by uh, rajushidi in the uh, chat uh, box actually uh, what i wanted to know is that all forms are supposed to be filled from our uh, college account the college email address or any uh, account will do for that matter uh, anything your personal id or college id anything you prefer oh, okay okay thank you okay so we were continuing with the introduction so anyone next um uh hi hi my yeah, everyone my name is udran kundu i'm from ceramic technology branch uh, and um, like I completed my print plus two from M Builda Foundation at the school, Diala. And like uh, I'm very much interested in sports and like gaming and all. And uh, like socializing, socializing is the thing that I like the most. And uh, like it's a very nice thing to meet new people and talk to them and uh, like uh, getting views and uh, gathering knowledge and uh, something like. Talking is the main thing, right? Uh, if uh, we talk uh, to each other and we will new, uh, know new things about something that we don't knew earlier, that that's the thing that I like the most, like talking and like uh, being a uh, like uh, something for doing something uh, for like being a, a leader type thing. That uh, thing I like the most. Yeah, nice. Oh. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay. I hope so that we will meet uh, soon. Like uh, it 
a very bad thing cause from two years we are like from two years actually we are sitting in home and doing all the online stuff and all which is uh, actually no one likes literally no one likes everyone loves uh, to meet physically and to interact physically to talk physically to like not that online mode of interaction which is a very boring mode to to deal with but like situations are like that so we have to bear it and uh, the cause is that hope so this at the uh, next year we will see each other like in physical way uh, i hope so hope for the best yeah we all hoping for the best yeah let's see what will happen so yeah okay next next anyone thank you hello yes hello hello please continue i am abhi mondol i am from the ceramic technology department i finished my 10th school level from upon high school level to a point here uh i i i love i my hobbies include i am uh, reading uh, watching movies and web series and i play like football and many other things i like those things um very uh, looking forward to meet everyone all right Okay, so it was very good. So, anyone next one? Next. Hi. Hello. Uh, I'm. Yeah. Hi. Uh, am I visible? Yeah, you are visible. Uh, my name is Parthasati Bodhabel, and I am from Durga Pur. I passed my class ten plus two exam. Uh, from dab model school durgapur and i am interested in sports like cricket and indoor games like uh, chess okay good we have uh, generally we have cricket tournament in college so if the college open we will be having cricket tournament so next uh, i have a question like like uh, if uh, we yeah. can pay the uh, 1500 in uh, like some uh, offline mode we can pay uh ah, like meet someone and pay yes uh, so in, the, in offline mode uh, so uh, what process you are offering or what uh, uh, i'm saying like uh, to meet and uh, like to give the money like okay. no actually like, this is the actually we are dealing with the public money so we can take we cannot take it in in hand so we uh, we have to follow the regulations which is like actually like you have a list or something like you are gathering the information who are giving and all like something yes, like yes, that yes 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 so i we have to follow, we have to follow the regulations and we have to maintain the proper okay, uh, the it. calculations so we have to yeah like it's not only about the money like we need to have yeah, the database yeah. also like the following yeah, yeah, students who are being the member of the association so okay so yeah like if you have problem uh, one thing you can do you can go to the bank and deposit the money and then that uh, that yes. picture you can upload So that thing yes. you can do. Okay, okay, perfect. No, no, I the, will pay on board. I just, I just ask. The stamped all. half part from the bank. If you go uh, physically to the bank and if you have, de- if you deposit the amount in our bank account, then you have to, uh, like, you have to click the photo of the half part of the st- stamp of the bank receipt. So it will be enough. Okay, I got uh, it. Got it. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yes. Hello. Uh, since the money has to be done uh, via bank transfer, can we use Yono SBI? Yeah, you I can use. You can use anything. The money have to be deposited in the student stu- uh, student council account. Okay. Okay. And please. the okay. receipt you the receipt you get the the receipt you get you have to simply upload the receipt that you have okay. paid the money. As simple as okay. that. Is, uh, okay. We have to upload it uh, via Google. form that yeah, platform in the in the in the section in the section it is already uh, google form so you have to upload in the google form simply and submit it 
ओके 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 सो आई थिंक इट्स ऑलरेडी वन फिफ्टीन सो वी कैन इट विल बेटर दैट वी कैन कनेक्ट इन द सेकेंड हाफ ओके नो इश्यूज ओके सर खान सर सर आई हाँ बोलो सर एक्चुअली सर सेकेंड हाफ स्टार्ट कर यहाँ पर भाभी सर तले एक तब उन लोगों को बाजे सेकेंड हाफ स्टार्ट कोई सर ठीक है चेंज अप टू यू कारण सेकेंड हाफ में प्रोफेसर तुम्हारी उन्हीं तो मोनीपुर ते कनेक्ट कर बैन सर हाँ सर बुझ दे बोले जी तो फुट तो दार उन आरे एक तो आता हो प्रॉब्लम होले होते पड़े तो उन्हीं एक तो कंटिन्यू करते पड़े हैं सर एक तो होले तो आपने तुमने ज्वाइन करनी सेट कर पॉइंट ओके सर 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 ओके टूडे the session we will be meeting in the afternoon and there we will have again an introduction session so thank you all thank you for having us uh, thank you sir for this for letting us have this session so with that we we'll wrap up today vikram will you want to add something no no it's okay yes sir i said you are most welcome uh, thank you sir you can continue later Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, okay. Meet you in the afternoon. Supriyo, can you hear me, Supriyo? Supriyo. Hello, Supriyo. Well, you may leave the meeting now. I'll contact okay, Supriyo. Okay. okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. So, everyone, thank yeah. you. So uh, yeah, uh, actually, uh, thank you so yeah. much, uh, Bikramda and Rajeshwari for this conducting this session once again. And I had one last question, if it's no, not sure. a problem. No, 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 sure. Uh, if we are conducting this in the second half, uh, I just need, wanted to know: is this uh, like introduction is uh, introduction session specifically for our first years, or uh, the we uh, or the students, those who have uh, taken admission in second year through lateral entry, do they are fairly new as well? Uh, students like me in particular. So, yeah. are they allowed to introduce themselves, or this is specifically yeah, for sure. the first years only? No, no, sure, no, no, sure. Obviously, you are uh, like I welcome, you more than also, welcome. Think, yes, you are also interested to know about us and the juniors of yourself. So, obviously, you might present. Okay. Uh, okay, so if you have your permission, then me and the other students can uh, begin with yeah, our introduction sure. in the second half. Yes, yes, thank yeah, you. Sure, all sure, the, all sure. the lateral students, you all the lateral students are welcome. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so we, much. We, thank we you once again. We would love to know yeah. you all. Yeah. So thank you all. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you. So all. with that, we wrap up now. So. Okay. Thank you all. So I am leaving. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. हेलो सुप्रियो हेलो अंकिता एम आई ऑडिबल अंकिता एम आई ऑडिबल हेलो दे दीता है
No, no, no. What are the zeros for you? Hello, Shupriya. 